Hello and welcome to this episode of HXGN TV. I'm your host, Laura Beth Ezel, and joining me today is Simon Welfare. Simon is with Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, and today we're going to talk with him about the best uh, way to apply Hexagon's in pursuit web RMS solution, you know, to any business across the globe. Now, this solution is uh, taking records management to the cloud and making information available anywhere at any time. Simon, Simon thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me. First just tell me about your role at Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure. Yeah, so I'm, I'm what's called an industry consultant um, and I work for Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure specializing in the public safety side of things and I, my background is in policing. I've been in policing for about 25 plus years, okay. um, both as a senior officer with Surrey Police in the UK mm -hmm. and then more latterly uh, managing strategic crime analysis uh, for the Calgary Police in Canada. And so I, I use that bank of experience that I developed okay. through the business side uh, and it's kind of a multi-faceted job I guess, it's a bit of business analysis, a bit of product development, a bit of implementation and configuration to ensure that our products meet uh, the business requirements and kind of best fit for our technologies for business needs. All right, since so you've got some good background of working on that side of the fence, uh, you know, and, and to now being on this side of, of what's, yeah. what, what these agencies need. Yeah, and can apply that to both existing customers and prospective customers right. as well. So tell me, what is In Pursuit Web RMS? So in pursuit web RMS is an enterprise records management system and you have to understand how important a records management system mm -hmm. is to a law enforcement agency to kind of get the importance of that mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, web R in pursuit web RMS is browser delivered uh, which makes it fairly unique. A records management system is kind of the lifeblood of a law enforcement agency. It's mm -hmm. where uh, records of all sorts of things like crimes, uh, arrests, prosecutions, mm -hmm. missing persons, accidents, tickets whole host of, of record types are collected uh, and therefore it's very important to just about every business unit within a law enforcement agency. So to have that ability in In Pursuit Web RMS for an enterprise records management system that's a thin client application, i.e. it requires no downloading of software onto the device to view it, is a really, really uh, you know, crucial step. So you can, you can access it, any device, whether it's a PC, a laptop, Android tablet, an iPad, that kind of thing, and from pretty much anywhere as well. So let's talk about, you know, what are some of the challenges that agencies are facing when it comes to records management? Well, sa sadly, there are quite a few, which is why right. you know, we're very proud to have this product to try and fill some of those gaps. If you look out in the market right now, um, probably the biggest gap that I see in the business, uh, from the business side of things, having been on both sides of the fence prior to joining Hexagon, um, is lack of flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, there's an assumption that policing follows the same business processes and, and to some extent it does, but agencies do have necessarily so um, unique data collection needs, mm -hmm. unique business process needs. And so for an agency to find something that's off the shelf or out, out of the box mm -hmm. that is flexible enough to meet those needs is, is, is pretty rare. Um, other challenges, other struggles that people face I think with records management systems are uh, the inability to easily ingest data from their legacy system. So that, that historic data that they already have is very important to an agency. They need to be able to bring that mm -hmm. forward into a new solution. Um, some solutions out there are very, uh, they're, they're tricky to use, they're not intuitive okay. to learn and use, mm -hmm. so the users are never really getting the, the, right. the maximum benefit out of them. Uh, those, those kind of things. Okay, so you know, what kind of solution do you find across the globe that you know, uh, every agency needs? So I'll go with flexible again. So that, that's kind of key. Flexible um, in as much that it meets the needs of a single agency, but it also has the ability to meet the needs of multi-agency environment. So in it, any size? I mean, any size? Any size. Right. Scalability is probably the, the, the second yeah. one. So to be able to service the needs of individual agencies in a multi-agency mm -hmm. deployment, or to be able to service the needs uh, from a scalability perspective mm -hmm. of small agencies and large agencies alike, and to grow and evolve very easily without right. you know, major kind of software updates and that kind of thing as, as an agency grows. Okay. So you know, how does WebRMS you know, meet these global demands and, and trends in the market you know, to have access to data in real time, like you said. Yeah. It's one thing for it to be out there, but to be able to access it anytime, anywhere yeah. is completely different. So, in, in a whole host of ways, I guess. Mm -hmm. too, too many to mention. Right. Let, me, let me try and sort of hone in on a few of the really important ones. Um, in Pursuit Web RMS has a very simple to use uh, customization utility that allows agencies to customize both existing screens and add additional custom screens and data fields. Um, so, take an, an example. Uh, Body-worn cameras, for example, uh, is a new and emerging um, piece of policing business, creates a lot of data. Um, and agencies, when they start deploying something like body-worn cameras, 
need to be able to collect data around that so they can analyze the success of the use of those things mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So with in pursuit web RMS, the, the day that you deploy body-worn cameras, you can add a custom field to your incident record, mm -hmm. for example, to say, okay, we want officers to start data entering the, the camera information. Mm -hmm. um, and the ability to easily and quickly adapt the system to collect data in that way um, feeds into the need to analyze data. Mm -hmm. If you can't collect it, you can't analyze it. Right. So you've kind of fallen at the first hurdle, if you like. Right, okay. Uh, I, I, I'll give you a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we have real-time alerts uh, mm -hmm. within WebRMS. Um, so we can configure pretty much any, um, any data element, any database-based activity to trigger real-time alerts. So we talk about real-time information being available. We can set it up very, very simply. Users can set it up very simply. Mm -hmm. So it fires alerts to people the moment certain predefined pre things are happening in the database uh, or in the application itself. And they, you know, we're getting information fired to the right people right. very, very quickly. Um, probably the, the other one that I talk, would talk about is the ease with which you can integrate WebRMS into your other systems. That's, that's usually pretty necessary for agencies. We package in pursuit WebRMS with our Edge Frontier integration tool. And that tool is plugged into the WebRMS. So we're kind of giving you the, the, the cable, if you like, mm -hmm. with it plugged in one end. You just have to plug the other end into whatever other application you wish to. Uh, and we teach you how to do that. So very easy to integrate other systems, typical things like you might have a red light camera system, you might mm -hmm. have an online reporting system for citizens, and to be able to stream that information yeah. very easily uh, straight into your records management system, uh, huge benefit for people. Right. Lots okay. of other things I could tell you about it. Extremely easy to use, extremely easy to deploy, yeah. extremely easy to manage, uh, great long-term, low cost of ownership because right. of those and things. And can meet uh, you know, a global need across the globe for any agency? Very much so. Right. So I'm from Canada. Um, originally, Embassy Web RMS was a, a US product. We migrated across the border with, with great ease, in fact, mm -hmm. using some of that flexibility, using right. some of those customization utilities. It really wasn't a huge effort for us to, to regionalize that to Canada, uh, and we can take it around the rest of the world very easily, I'm sure. So you know, what's at stake for agencies who delay much longer in, in upgrading to a better records management system? Yeah, it's a I mean, good question. We're getting question. so much data in, you feel like eventually it's just something's yep. going to crack, right? Yep, <laughs> and that's exactly it. Yeah. Data volume is one of the, the kind of right. uh, drivers of that. I think mm -hmm. people who are, are surviving on aging technology, technology that won't support cloud deployment, um, that, that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. I think we are going to see movement towards um, towards cloud deployments. Yeah. Uh, and if you if you don't have something like in pursuit web RMS that's cloud deployable, web delivered, browser delivered, um, you simply can't take advantage of that, that future technology. Now I know in law enforcement people get very kind of scared when we start talking about cloud deployments of something like a records management system. Um, they're not insurmountable problems. I'll give yeah. you an example of that. In Canada, um, we can't allow our data to leave Canadian borders, for example. Well, six months, nine months ago, that was a problem for cloud deployment. Recently, Microsoft One Gov Azure set up a Canadian border controlled or border contained uh, secure cloud environment. So slowly but surely yeah. I think we're seeing mm -hmm. some of those barriers removed and I think uh, necessarily as data grows with things like body worn cameras, yeah. things like in car digital video, agencies are simply not going to be able to keep that stuff within their own environments. They're going to have to move to right. cloud deployment and you can't do that unless you've future proofed yourself with a piece of technology like in pursuit web RMS that, that can be delivered in that way from an externally hosted environment. Well, is there, you've shared a lot of this. Is there anything you haven't uh, gotten to say that you'd like to share with the audience? Well, I'll leave you, I'll leave you with a teaser because <laughs> uh, one exciting development from this for, for us as a company is when you have a cloud deployable solution like this and a browser delivered solution like this, um, it opens up the possibility of delivering that as software as a service. Mm -hmm. And so imagine your records management system is just there for you. We take care of everything. It's hosted, it's maintained, it's updated. We even manage your database for you, that kind of stuff. All you do is take your device of choice, whether it's a, a laptop, a PC, an iPad, and log into it from wherever you are in the world. Uh, exciting stuff that right. is on our roadmap. Um, watch this space for any more developments around that one. Okay, well, Simon, thank you for your time today and your insight into In Pursuit Web RMS. Yeah, Appreciate thanks very it. much for the opportunity. And thank you for joining us. For more information on Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, you can go to hexagonsafetyinfrastructure.com. Or for more on HXGN TV and to watch additional episodes, you can go to hxgntv.com. Thank you.